Hey guys, welcome to Short No Life. So before we get started, if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I am on my way to a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you are new here, hey, this is Short Nail Life. I do all kinds of nail content. And as you can see in today's video, this will be a haul, a teeny, Timu haul. <laughs> I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong because I keep wanting to say Timu for some other reason, but this is a Timu haul. I finally tried it. Um, I do have a lot of thoughts on them, but I do want to do a disclaimer. Everything in this bag is not going to be strictly nail stuff. I have so much nail stuff that a lot of the things on the website I felt like I already had and I didn't want to just buy doubles just to do a haul. So I do have some random stuff thrown in here as well, like these. These are some ear cuffs. Um, I said this in a previous haul when I showed some nose cuffs. I am obsessed with piercings, but I am afraid of needles. I do not do needles. I'm not gonna let you stick me. Even for a piercing, I know it's just like a one and done situation. I just, I buy my fake piercings and then I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah, so these are just some ear cuffs just to give me that illusion that I have a piercing up there. And I thought these were super cute. They were super affordable. I believe I paid less than a dollar for these. And I will have everything linked down in the description box in the order of the video, just in case you wanna pick anything up that you see today. And I do wanna tell you the shipping was fast. I got mine in like a week and a half, so it came really quickly. And I will talk more about my experience with Timu later on, but I kinda of feel like I'm rushing it if I do it now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll talk more about my experience with Timu later on. So the next thing I got were these chains and I really like these. I will be honest and say they do give off that gold look that's a little, I don't wanna say cheap, but that's the only thing that's coming in my mind. But it depends on the nail set you put it on too as well. Because some of these look like they will just like be so beautiful on the nail. I can't really <laughs> explain it, but some of these are, not as good quality so it's like a mixture in here but i did pull one out because i wanted you guys to see like the length that you're going to get so some of these will be very very short as you can see that first one right here that i'm showing you it is very short and some of these will be super long it kind of depends on what chain it is if it's a super simple chain you can get anywhere around it's going to be long if it's a unique chain it's very short and i can't remember the price or i would tell you but I do like it and I do recommend it. So next up, I have these stamping, well, this stamping plate. Um, I have a lot of stamping plates in today's haul. They were, I believe, 79 cents. And I kind of stocked up on a lot of Valentine because I don't know, when it comes to that season, I feel like I'm lacking. So I'm trying to bring up my game on a lot of holidays now. So this one is kind of like an anti-Valentine to Valentine stamping plate. I love it. I think it is so cute. I really wanted it for the anti-Valentine feel though, the get over it and not going to be yours. And no, 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 no. Yeah, I love all of that on that side. I really wanted to bring that part to my channel a little bit more. And then I got a stamping plate holder. I've been needing these. I need to organize my stamping plates. So yeah, I was so happy to receive this. And this is not the only one. You're gonna keep seeing this in the video because I am picking things out of the bag at random. I am not going in any particular order if you're just, if you're curious. Um, yeah, that's what I decided to do. So this has like a piece of paper in the front. If you can see it, that white piece. I don't know if I can remove that or not. I've removed something like that before and the whole thing fell apart. So if you have this book and you remove that white piece of paper, let me know if your book was still intact. And I'm gonna be honest, everything in today's video kind of felt a present, I guess you can say. Um, Timu goes by so fast when you're ordering on there because it's like they're giving you coupons and you're trying to make sure you don't lose them. And like you're just adding to the cart and then you check in, you're checking out before anything disappears that you don't really remember what you get. So a lot of this stuff, well, everything just felt like, oh, wow, I got this. I got this when I was pulling it out. So yeah, this was a really fun experience. I feel like from that perspective of like having it be Christmas, but I hope that makes sense. But um, I got this charm. I thought it was so pretty. I really was trying to avoid buying charms when I was doing my order. 
I could not. <laughs> I had to pick up some charms and I'm obsessed with this cute little rose. The problem is I don't wear them that much, but this looks so beautiful. I could not just leave it. I had to pick it up. And then next up, I got this rhinestone tray. I'm obsessed with these. I'm gonna tell everyone, <laughs> you definitely need these you don't have to get this one but i feel like this is a necessity these little trays i've been looking at them for a while but when i saw this one i honestly tricked my mind because i thought it could close but it is very sturdy it does not close and i'm just as you saw i was trying to open it to the end that is for when you want to scoop the rhinestones back in but what you do with this tray if you don't know you just dump your rhinestones in and then you shake it after I get that rhinestone in there, you shake it and it turns all the rhinestones to the right side. This definitely does work and it is way easier than what I've been doing. So I've been using this a ton. And then when you get done, as you saw, you open the end and you just scoop it into the back into the jar and with this one i could do two rhinestone colors at a time without having to mix mine up well i guess when you put it back into the container it's going to get a little mixed up but you get what i mean you could do two on each side if you wanted to but yeah i really recommend these i feel like this was a game changer for me in my opinion so yeah i recommend that so next up i got a nose cuff <laughs> I told you guys, I'm obsessed with fake piercings. I'm just afraid to go and get one because of the pain. I don't do well with pain. But yeah, this one is super cute. Again, less than a dollar. I really like it. It's a good sturdy material as well. So next up, I got this self-sealing tape, I think it is called. I know it's medical tape, but it doesn't have any stickiness that's why i'm trying to figure out how to explain it, it doesn't have a stickiness it kind of seals to itself and you use this if you are like a nail tech or you do other people nail or even if you have a practice hand it helps you from not filing your own nails and your own fingers and i'll show you how you put it on there you just rip a piece off and you wrap it around your finger you pull off more piece than that. I was being a little stingy. <laughs> and then it kind of seals its own self around your finger. And that's going to protect your skin. Because when I file other people's nails, I literally file my skin. I don't file a nail. I file skin because my nails are so short. So yeah, definitely pick these those up if you're like me. And then again, another book. I do want to quickly mention something about that resealable tape. That was $0.44. Cent, so I got two. But I will be honest and say... It's a good buy, but you could definitely get it get it from somewhere else and have, get more for the same price, if that makes sense. Um, I have, <laughs> and that's why I'm saying that. But yeah, it's kind of, if you want to buy it or not, it is $0.44, cents, so it's a good price. But you can kind of get it for the, almost the same price from other places because I have and have more on the road than what you get with that. So I just want to be really honest about that. But as you can see, I'm showing you this ring. I am obsessed with butterflies. It is so cute. So I have thick, chubby fingers. I'm not going to lie. And things kind of look wide on my fingers. So I felt like this was not cute on me personally. So I think if I were to wear it, I would wear it up here. And I think that is just so adorable. Adorable. <laughs> I think it is so cute. And I really love this. And the quality is really nice. Just in case you're wondering, um, it's what I'm used to if that makes sense it's not it doesn't feel cheap it feels sturdy so next up I got these blue light filtering glasses I'm gonna be honest with you and say I hate these I wear glasses for distance and for some reason certain colors when they're in on my eyes they it just it doesn't feel good <laughs> so this to me I did not like it but I bought these for like when I'm filing the nails that will be eye protection or even when I want to edit that's eye protection from the screen but I really I hate them I'm being honest but they probably work for somebody else who doesn't wear glasses but for me they don't so next up is another valentine stamping plate and I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird, like it's going hoarse and then coming back in. I feel like I may be getting sick. I don't know what's going on with my voice right now, but I'm sorry about it. Please 
ignore it. <laughs> but this one I thought was cute. This one is more like the best friend's Valentine stamping plate. It even says nail sisters. I didn't even see that. That is so cute. But yeah, this is a really nice one. Again, 79 cents. So a really good buy. And I have more stamping plates for Valentine's Day. So next up, I have this magnet. I tricked myself. As you can see, there's hearts on that magnet. I was convinced that this magnet puts hearts on the nails. I looked at the listing and everything. I did not see any hearts on there, but I just saw the design on the magnet and I convinced my own self. It does not do that. If you look at the listing, it shows you clearly what the magnet does. I just chose to ignore it because I really wanted a magnet that did hearts. And that was on me. But I'm super happy with it because I just I wanted more magnets anyways. I'm not even upset, but I'm going to test out what it does on the nail. So I guess I can tell you something you are noticing is that I did test out a lot of the things that I purchased from Team, team One Camera today. Um, I just I wanted you guys to see the quality. I know a lot of people are curious. Is it the same? Is it like how is it? And to me, it is the same quality as everything else I buy nail art specific. It is good quality. It's the same. I believe they have some of the same sellers from other sellers or from other retail sellers or something like that. So, yeah, I really do like them. I will be honest and say I feel like Timu is for a beginner when it comes to the nail art, because if you have a large collection, you're probably not going to shop on Timu a lot because the select i feel like you're going to see it grow more but right now i feel like i have a lot of the same things they already are advertising i would kind of go to them to restock my items but i wouldn't go there to like just buy nail art because i have a lot of it so i feel like timu is perfect for the beginner who has nothing they don't have a big budget they don't even know if they really want to get into this this is a great company to try. And even if you are someone who has a large collection, you can, like I said, buy things to stock up. So yeah, that's what I think so far. But I have more thoughts and I'll share some more with you later on. But first, for, but next up, I have this chrome powder. I was so confused when I opened this bag and saw this. I did not order this. I had to look at my order confirmation again because I know I would not order a chrome powder that reflects gold because I actually think I have two of them. I have one or two. Um, so when I looked at the order, I actually ordered the mermaid one. I really wanted that mermaid chrome. I've been seeing it everywhere and I don't own it. It is the most expensive chrome I feel like out of all of them but it's not that bad but I haven't bought it yet so I was like okay when I saw it at Timu I was like let me go ahead and buy this this is a really good price and then it came and it's reflects gold and I don't know if it said you get a random chrome or not but I definitely didn't order this so just be aware of that with this link you may get this one that reflects gold so next up I got some more of those roses I told you guys I'm pulling things out the bag as random and I do like to buy both gold and silver when the option is available, especially if it's really good quality. And I could tell these, both of these were really good quality. I am super happy with both of them. Um, if you love Beauty and the Beast, you want to do some Beauty and the Beast nails, I feel like this would be so cute to do that. So yeah, definitely check these out if you love roses. I think they're so pretty. Then next up, this is something else I had to check my order with. I told you. You order so quickly, you don't really realize what you're getting sometimes. So I ordered a 10 piece dangle charm variety pack, I guess you can say. So I didn't know what I was gonna get. That's why I was confused as to what it was. But these are the charms I received. So if you get these, you may not get the same choices as I did because it is kind of random, I believe. But I love everything in here. I think it is super cute. I will be honest and say this will not fit my length of nails I wore more of like the sport length I believe it's called and these will be a little too long and for my nails personally <laughs> but these are really great if you have medium to long nails they'll look really really pretty on them and I do show you on one nail 
how this will look and it's crooked <laughs> sorry about that but yeah i just wanted you to kind of get an idea i do try to fix it but yeah it's perfect for like to me this is a medium nail i know to some people this is a short nail this swatch stick but this for me personally is a medium nail So next up, spoiler, it's another magnet. You see double headed magnet. Um, I don't know why they shipped them in a bag. I'm not upset about it. Maybe it protected the other metal pieces I had in there. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I just got the regular magnet. I did not own this, I thought. But I actually do have this just separate rated, if that makes sense. I have the top part as one magnet and then I have the bottom part as another magnet because they do the same exact thing but I'm happy to have it. Just in case I didn't show you the name of this polish, I believe this is Super Cat Eye by my, Madam Glam. I love it, it's my favorite <laughs> cat eye to work with. So yeah, it's just so simple to use just in case you're curious. And then I put the magnet over it. So simple, so easy. Some cat eyes do not do this, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about Timu stuff today. So. As you saw, I just redid the redid the particles and um, so you can see the other side of the, what the magnet can do. And I'm gonna be honest, I kind of played with these magnets off camera for a while because I just, I re been wanting some more magnets and I just kind of want to see everything that I could possibly do with them. So I redid the nail, put the particles back around <laughs> again so you can see this with the magnet. I started playing with the magnet under the nail and I started seeing these different effects and I thought it was so interesting and I wanted to share with you guys just in case you didn't know that magnets did this. Like this to me was so, I don't know, amazing. I don't know if anybody else knew that their magnet did that. Like I thought that was so amazing and like the, the possibilities I probably could do with that. like. They kind of opened something up in my mind. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. Then next up, I honestly thought this was a brush. And when I opened it and saw this was a rhinestone picker, I was so excited. I have a ton of rhinestone pickers, but they are just open and exposed. And I kind of mess them up all of the time because I don't kind of, I don't store them in the best possible place. So yeah, I was super happy to see this. The only thing I will say is it's kind of short when you take both sides off. So you will probably have to leave one side closed, if that makes sense. If I just like the balance of the other side being closed. But yeah, that's my only complaint about it is that I wish it was like a little bit longer. And I'm just showing you that it works perfectly fine. Again, I'm still trying to test as much stuff as I can out for you guys. Then next up on this order, I got this watercolor kit. Um, I'm gonna swatch it, of course. I want you guys to see what it can offer, but I'm going to do a little, a little bit of a spoiler here. I don't know if I can recommend this particular watercolor kit only because my skills suck. It has nothing to do with it. So if you want to buy it for the colors, definitely go get it. But please don't buy it because I recommend it because I don't want you guys to be mad at me. I honestly have no skills with watercolor. I'm still a newbie. I barely use them. So I don't know if this is the best quality or not. I do need to practice. I need to get more familiar with it. But when you see my swatches, I really do think I oversaturated my brush. If you use too much water, you're not gonna get enough pigment. If you use not enough water, you're definitely not gonna get any pigment. It's not even gonna get on the brush. So yeah, this is really something I would have to practice more with but I really loved the colors and I felt like they were very spring and summer vibes. So I really wanted to pick these up. These were to me, not the cheapest. If it, nail art is over five bucks, I feel like it's not the cheapest and this was over five bucks, but I really wanted to try this out. But it's for watercolor, it's not that bad as well, especially in a kit and you get a container, it's not that bad. But I do wanna, say a little bit more about my thoughts on Timu. 
like I said earlier, it's not my, I don't feel like it'll be my go-to spot, but I do see myself shopping there more. And I don't see it as my go-to spot because they have a $10 minimum. And I completely understand why, especially in today's economy, if you're gonna make an order, you need to make it worth the gas getting it there. So I definitely, definitely understand that. So just be aware of that if you wanna, if you want to shop at Timu, you do have to spend at least $10 before they will ship you your, well, before you can place your order. And sometimes, like I said, I just, I really need just one thing sometimes. And so for me, I kind of like the sellers that will allow me to buy that one thing I need. But most of the time I do go a little bit overboard and I will buy more stuff. But yeah, if you just need that one thing and you really need it, then no <laughs> you can't buy it from Timu, I guess you can say, because you would have to spend more to actually get it. And I think that's the the thing about Timu though as well. Even if you don't need, I mean, even if you need one thing from them, they have so much stuff that you can buy. You can buy clothes, you can buy shoes, like definitely read reviews, but there's more things than just nail art, of course, on that website. So yeah, definitely check them out. They are a good company. They do have good quality. This was a week later. I say a few, it says a few days later, but this was a week later or so. I did two orders. That first thing was like that plug and play thing. <laughs> I have nephews and when they come over, I wanna give them like options. I wanna be the fun nut. So I feel like they gave me a little, little bit of bonus points. Even though it's retro, I just, I'm introducing them to something that I did in the past. So I thought it was super cute. But I picked up another one of these stamping plate books. I realized when I had this order that two was not enough. So I decided to get one more. And again, more stamping plates. And this order that you're seeing is $7. My first order was $10, but I got $20 off that order. So that grand total was 30. Cause even though it was $10, you still, even though it was $20 off, you still had to spend $10 in order for them to ship it, if that makes sense. So that first order you saw was $10. Then this order was $7 because whatever coupon they gave me, it allowed me not to spend $10, but it was like I bought, I got one free thing or three free things, which was that game. And then a couple of these stamping plates were free. And then I had to buy, I don't know how many more, six more items, I believe. And that's what I did. And that total ended up at $7 and it still allowed me to pay for that without having to have that $10 minimum. But my order was worth over $10, if that makes sense. And I'm sorry, I'm not really explaining anything, but those are just stamping plates they're beautiful they're great quality and then i picked up these earrings i told you i am always looking for something that makes me look like i have more piercings than i have because i love piercings I guess. <laughs> and i thought this was cute it was it would give you that a look that you have like six piercings up your ear and it's not too out there i guess you can say i love big statement earrings so to me studs like the little small studs that go on your ears i really i've always hated those so to me i love these for like that stud look that is my version of like the little stud earrings <laughs> if that makes sense and then i picked up some more and like these are just earrings for like when i'm not going anywhere like special maybe if i'm going to like the grocery store i feel like these are a little extra for the grocery store but that's kind of where i will wear them these will be like my version of a stud when i'm just going nowhere and they come with these plastic bags I got another uh, cuff, another butterfly item. I saw a butterfly and I don't even remember adding this to my cart. 
<laughs> like I just I saw the butterfly but I don't remember actually picking it but I'm so happy I got it it is so cute I think it's so pretty and I feel like you can hang a earring or where that little circle was at the bottom and this is the last item I just picked up a few rings for my practice hand when I was talking about sturdy rings earlier these are not them these are your cheap rings that are perfect for your practice hands they look nice on the practice hand but i would definitely not be wearing these on my own fingers especially because they are meant for smaller skinnier fingers my fingers are not that these to me don't fit right and i they're just not for me but they're perfect for my little practice hand so again, everything will be linked in the description box down below in the order of the video. If you like anything, it is all down there. I will also leave the affiliate link if you want to check that out. I believe it's if you sign up with that code, you get $20 and I'll get $20, I believe that is. I will t put no on the screen if I'm incorrect or yes if I'm correct. But yeah, definitely check them out if you want to. Um, I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I make new videos twice a week. I want you guys to have an amazing day. Bye.